What up beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are back with something totally different. We partnered with Shop Tunga Tunga. It is actually an authentic African design store where they design um, male outfits, female outfits and also kids and much more. They also do home decor, just anything that is African based that's where you go they are actually located at uh kilimani at yaya center right just opposite yaya center or at life um you guys can go visit and we partner with them today to make this video and help you guys on how to take measurements as you can tell by my outfit currently this is a shirt from t-shirt i mean from shop tunga tunga it is amazing as you can tell and they have so much more if you want something african just hit them up i am going to post their instagram facebook and also twitter and i'm also going to put their link on the description below amazing stuff about them is they actually shop worldwide internationally and locally you guys order go to the link find something that you can get and order your stuff right now Without further ado, I am just gonna change into something more comfortable. That way I can show you how to take measurements on dresses and also pants. And out of the dresses, you can also get measurements of your shirts or t-shirts or men's shirts. Yeah, all that stuff. For pants, you can also get measurements of shorts and yeah, you know how it goes. So let's jump straight into it and let me show you how we do it. So when you're taking your pants measurements, we start with the waist. Let's start with the waist. One thing people get wrong is your waist area. So once you're taking measurements of your waist, it's actually the smallest part. That's your actual waist. But then we do have your waist where you put on your pants or skirts, which is usually right below your belly button or right next or right on it. I'm gonna pull this up and we're gonna take measurements. So if you wanna take measurements, this is where your waist is at, the smallest part. So my waist is at 27 inches. So this will come in handy when you're wearing um, like high-waisted pants. This is where you take the waist measurement. But if you're taking, if you want regular pants that you wear right below your belly button or on your belly button you can measure it right there but for me i would measure myself right there which is a 30 so this is my pants waist line okay so the next thing we do is you need to take your length measurements so this will depend if you want high waisted pants or just regular waisted pants so for high waisted pants you would definitely start from your actual waistline going all the way down and depending on how long you want your pants so if it's a high waist I would start from here going down but for regular pants I would start from right there going all the way down and this is the same thing that will happen with shorts so for shorts you would go all the way down up to the length that you want it if it's low waist and if it's high waist you do the same got it all right so next you have to measure your hips so your hips are the widest part where your butt is at as for me my hip is 37 so that is my measurement for my hip so you make sure you go all around your butt not below your butt or on top because it just might not fit that's how you take your hip measurements so next you need your thigh measurement so you don't need to take both of them so you just do that with one because they are almost usually the same size so that is usually right under your crotch that's where your thigh is so, so that's how you take your measurement for your thigh and as for mine it is a 22 and um, how you take your measurements, it also goes with how tight you want it. So if you want it fitting, mine will be 22. If I want it a little baggy, I'm going to add some inches on. So yeah, so that's how you do it. And the same, it's the same as the other leg. For some pants, if you do not want baggy pants, you also have to measure your knee going down to your calf area. Because a lot of us have different sizes of calves. 
then those who have huge ones and small ones so you, if you want fitted pants you need to also measure your calf and finally your ankle if you want your pants to reach your ankle make sure you measure your ankle so that's pretty much majority of it but the most important part where people forget is the crotch area so for the crotch area we have different ways on how you can actually measure your crotch one is you can actually sit down okay i don't have a chair here but you can actually sit down when you sit down and you can measure from here up to where your butt touches the seat that is one way you can get your crotch length also you can get it from here because the front part is long is shorter than the back part you can always do this starting from here and going all the way back and get the measurement but it might be uncomfortable if you're doing this for somebody else but it will be perfect for you to know the exact measurement of your crotch for the high waist length you do the same you would start from where your actual waist length your waist is and the back as well and that way you would know your crotch area for the pants i believe that is it um i showed you the difference on how to take measurements on high-waisted and also the regular waisted pants also it will depend on how you want the width if you want exactly fitting you have to go exactly with your um what is it, measurements but if you want it thicker or like um baggier you just have to measure your waist and hips and the rest of it you would do however you want it so moving on we're done with the pants measurements now we're going to do the dress measurement slash shirts and t-shirts and all that stuff so where we begin is when you're taking a dress measurement or shirt we start with your shoulders so where your shoulders start your shoulders start from right here you know like assume you're cutting your hand so right where you cut it off at that's where you start it doesn't start from here it starts from there all the way to here so if you're taking measurements it's easier to take your measurements from the back than the front so what we would do is i would start from there all the way till there that is my shoulder length so that is your shoulder length moving on you also need your sleeve length depending on how long you want to sleeve either short um elbow length or completely long sleeve for the sleeve you would start from where i showed you right there you know like when you wear clothes you see that hemline where they have shown that that's where you start your measurements for your sleeve so if you want a short sleeve you would start from right there i don't know if you guys can see from right there going down up to the short sleeve so short sleeve is typically over there and you will get your measurements if you want the elbow length you would start from the same position over there going make sure you bend your arm a little bit and that will be up to right there that way when you move your arm the cloth does not hinder you from bending your arm so that's how far your elbow length should go and as for the long sleeved for the long sleeved you start from the same place make sure you bend your arm and measure first to your elbow and then continue all the way to your arm that way you can get the perfect measurement because if you measure from here all the way down it will end up being short instead of here it might get up to here so make sure you bend a little bit to give that pace of bending and then measure to the sleeve so next we are going to do the bust area so what i would advise ladies especially if you're taking your clothes measurement like your dress or your blouse or any top make sure you wear the bra that you normally wear every single day don't take your measurements without a bra make sure you have the bra that 
you usually wear on a daily. That way you can get the perfect measurement and once you have the cloth, it exactly fits. So, here's how we do it. So we're gonna go straight back all the way and measure your bust. Right in the middle, make sure you have the bra that you usually wear. So as for me, it's a 35, so my bust is 35. That is the size for my dress, bust size or blouse or whatever. Another measurement you should take once you, when you're trying to get a dress for the length, okay? When you're taking the length of your dress, you make sure you take it from the upper, you know how human beings, we have a slanting shoulder. So you start from the top part, not the neck, but the top part of your shoulder and go all the way on top of your bust. Make sure you go under the bust and get that measurement. And then from there, you keep going and going all the way down, depending on the length of the dress that you want. If you want a knee dress all the way to the knee, make sure you take the measurement all the way to your knee. If you want a mini, you do the same. If you want a maxi dress or a gown, make sure you take all the way to the bottom but tiptoe that way if you wear heels the dress is not going to be short but it's going to be perfect all round and covering the heels that way you do not make your maxi dress shorter okay so there's that so i'm going to repeat as i said if you're going to take your gown measurement of the length like i showed you make sure you get the bust go all the way down, tiptoe, and add the few inches from the distance between your heel and the floor. That way, your dress is perfect. So, there is that. Um, as for the hips, if you want a bodycon dress, we will do the same as we did with the pants. Make sure you go all the way round, and also for the waist. So, there is that. Um, let's move on to shirts, men's shirts or yeah women blouses so it's the same thing when you're taking your sleeves you do the same from the shoulder the back and the difference is you will have to take your neck your neck measurement and this is for the collared shirts or blouses that way you know how far you need it and you know all that so there is that so i believe that's it for the measurements of dresses pants blouses skirts and all that i believe i covered all that so make sure you do that when you're getting your measurements are you going to the tailor or a designer make sure you do exactly that and ladies do not forget to put on a bra that you usually wear on a single day that way your bust does not appear smaller and too tight for you to wear well thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think on the comment section below and make sure you follow at shop tunga tunga on the instagram facebook and twitter and click on the description down below because i have the link on there so you guys can keep shopping shop 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 they have amazing outfits and like i said if you want the actual location to walk in it is a inkly money um opposite ad life that's yaga center so make sure you get your african authentic wear at tunga tunga shop see ya see ya in my next video bye guys